Assalamu alaikum everybody so today's video I'm going to share with you my preparation for Ramadan so Ramadan is coming soon and I know so many people will think wow a preparation for Ramadan so like Ramadan is a holy month where we usually just fast while we have to do all this long list of shopping but what can we do we have some type of food that we do like to enjoy during Ramadan that it will keep us have a full of energy for during the time uh, the, the hours we are fasting and also we can be able to pray and to do our uh, daily duty and daily routine so um so yeah i'm going to share with you what i'm going to make i have like a not a long list just a small list like you know me and my husband we're just two people so we're not going to eat too much but we do like wanted to enjoy some of ramadan um recipes so um i'm going to to buy the items that i will need for those and also and also I'm going to um, share with you some Moroccan ones that I like to make and um, it's, it's going to be a little bit different because I don't think I will do fully st Moroccan style because um, I'm not in the mood like to eat some um, sweet Moroccan ones like uh, like Shebekiya and the other Brie was and the stuff but I wanted to have a salty side and salty ones so I'm going to take you guys today with me to do um, the first shopping that I'm going to do because I think this is going to be part one of the video because um, I don't think I will be able to make the whole shopping and the whole preparation on just one video it's going to be a ridiculously long video so um, yeah so what I'm going to do today I'm going to do shopping and after that I might make a Moroccan style samosas what we call called briwat so um which is salty one not the sweet one so we'll do this inshallah today and then um i think that's all my we're going to see what i'm going to do and to make but this is what i'm going to do so far otherwise i did receive some um, magazine for the deals that they're having for um ramadan so like, like this one so oops like this one so I'm looking forward to see their deals and what they do have in the supermarket and um, I will take you guys with me and let's see what they do have and what I'm going to get and what we, um, we're going to make for this Ramadan so I'm looking forward for that so yeah um, keep watching the video let's go now to do some shopping Oh, I forget to do something. I forget to introduce myself. So I'm Ikram and I like to do vlogs and do hauls and DIYs and many, many, many things uh, related with lifestyle and uh, beauty and, and just fun, you know, traveling, showing be beautiful places and beautiful things and also cooking. I love cooking as well. So if you like this type of thing, Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and write me a comment down below um, sharing some ideas if you want so it would be lovely. So yeah, let's go now for shopping. Bye! Hello, right now I'm in Morrison but I wanted to show you something that has no relationship to do with food. But it's so beautiful. They have so many beautiful plants and flowers. Hello, I am back from shopping. Let me show you what I did. So I went to Morrison and Turkish place as well or Turkish shop. So let's start with the Turkish um, shop. So I got from the Turkish shop one kilo and a half of um, semolina because I will need it to make harsha, so which is a Moroccan dish uh, or Moroccan bread and um this one one kilo and a half like i said and the price i believe it was um one pound something or two pound something and then this one it has not i would need it for to mix the loop because i like to mix so many type of knots and this one was 2.69 and also i got from them oops this dry um dry ap uh, apricot i really like it i like to have it as a snack and it was 150 pound and then from morrison got this one 
I don't remember how much was it maybe 80 81 pound yeah 80 no sorry 81 P not 81 pound 81 P I like this one and then almond and this one was six pounds but was reduced to five pounds and I got a garlic puree I don't remember how much was this one okay let me show you the rest <coughs> I got two of the coconut. Oops, can you see it? Yeah, you can. Two of the coconut. Both of them, two of them was pound. And four of tomato. So I got two of this one. So I got two of the plump one, tomato, and then two of the chopped one. Oops, here you go. Because I might need them for Herrera. And then I got myself my favorite drink. I like um, pure grape drink. And I'm going to try this one for the first time. And this one was in reduction. So I'm happy about this. And then. So here you go. Choosing uh, mixed vegetables. And then also choosing meat samosa i'm not going to make meat samosas for my husband but i'm going to make chicken one but i got him one as well because this one's called chicken tikka i don't know what is tikka anyway it looks like spicy and my husband likes spicy so i got him this it says two of them was two pound fifty and it's twenty total of the samosas anyway now i'm going to relax a little bit and after that we will start preparation for the Moroccan samosas, which is chicken one. Okay, we will start this um, after relaxing, you know. Yeah. Oh, guys, I want to share with you what I got yesterday. I got this teapot with the mug. They're so cute. I got them from Fly Tiger. And it was just um, three pounds. Can you imagine, guys? Just three pounds for this beautiful blush. Tifa with the beautiful cup. Look at the cup, it's so beautiful. Cute. I like tea. I like my teapot, so I'm happy to have one added to my collection. And it was just three pounds, guys. Just three pounds. I am watching this video. It's really fun. I don't remember the name of it. It's called Gossip or Gossip Pop or something like that. And, um,. Hello, so now I'm going to make chicken pastilla. For that, I'm going to use onion. Here I have like uh, two, three onions. So I'm going to use them, but before I have to add it oil, I'm going to use some oil on the Hold. Oops. Like that. I think this will be enough. And then I will add my uh, onion. I think that's enough because I will need some for mine. My mine. I'm going to make it vegetarian because I don't eat meat. And then after that, I'm going to add the chicken. So this chicken, I was um, it was uh, in the freezer. So it have already the sauce on it, but anyway, I have to add it more sauce. So I will show you what I'm going to do. I will add some salt and I will close it. Hello back. Well, anyway, I changed the what we call this. I forget the name. I changed it because I was thinking it might not fit me. Anyway, I put the chicken on. I put the seasoning, which is a black black pepper and. Um, this one, I forget the name of this one. It's not curry, it's all, oh, it's turmeric. Yes, it's turmeric and black pepper and cinnamon, cinnamon sticks. <coughs> and salt and garlic as well. And I let it cook. I didn't add any water, anything. I will leave it to cook until the chicken is ready. You can make it. You can cook it on um, cook, a pressure cooker. But because the pieces of chicken they're quite small, will not take a long time to cook on normal, you know, um, normal 
no pressure, you know what I mean? <laughs> so then um, I'm going to make the almond now. So to the almond, I'm going to boil it and after boiling it, remove the skin and fry it. I put some water and now I'm going to add the almonds. That should be enough. So I will leave it to um, boil and then I will remove the skin and then I will fry it. Hey, almond. I added some porcelain, um, frozen porcelain and then cinnamon as well. And I'm waiting for the almond to boil. Once it's boiled, I will remove the skin like I said. When the chicken is done, I remove the chicken from, from you know, I remove it. And then I will leave it to cook for low heat and then I'm going to add the eggs on, on it. Otherwise, the almonds are almost um, done, so I will remove the skin like I said and I will fry them quickly. After frying them, I will cut them to small pieces and I will add them all together. The onion, cooked onion with egg mixed with the chicken and uh, added with the fried um, almonds all mixed all together. Okay. Grind it or smash it? Yeah, smash it. Thank you for your help. Oh my god, what a lot of noise. Let me see. Um, I think this is enough. Okay. We need more. Do we add it to this? Yeah. So we're going to add it on top. Cinnamon. And Sugar, ice sugar. Oops, 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 oops. Like that. And this is like two spoons. And then the almond. The almond here. So the pepper is quite small, so I'm going to use it as um, in the shape of the spring. Spring roll, is it spring roll we call it? No, yeah, instead of the shape of a uh, bray white. And also, I have here some of the flour with the water so I can close it. So, here we're adding the, um, the almond, and we're going to mix all of that and make our bray whites. Now they're ready. I'm going to put them on the freezer. What did you put? I made mine. Your one I put on the bottom. Where? In the bottom one. This bottom one. Okay. 